Hey guys, this is Triforce Plus One, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we traversed, pfft, traveled through uh, more of the Crystal Palace. As you can see here, we've uh, gotten to this point. I don't know if this is considered the halfway point. I'd say it was. Uh, we almost died in the last part, if you remember. But um, we're just going to continue on here through the depths of the Crystal Palace. Uh, I don't want to fight that white club uh, because I'm going to die. There's a treasure chest over there. I want that. And I know, oh, no, 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 no. Oh uh, boy. What can I do? What can I do? I can use a star storm to finish things off really quickly. Let's go ahead and do that, I guess. I just want to get rid of them. But I, actually, no. You know what? I don't care. This is going to cause a level up. No matter what I do. And... Do I have enough to power bomb? No, I don't. Alright, I have enough to air raid though. No, I don't. I don't have enough to do anything. This is, this is suck. Uh, do I have enough to power shell? That won't do enough though. Hold on. You know what? Let's risk it. I don't care. I'll go rid of that magic hoop at least. Hopefully I don't die here. Dang it. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I have to block this. I have to block this. I have to block this. No. Dang it. No. No. No! That's my second life shroom! I needed that! Ah! Crying out loud. And we're gonna freaking level up. It doesn't matter. I'm so upset at these white clubbers. Actually, I'm more upset at me because I didn't action command properly. Not fair. You die. Ah, well, at least we level up. And uh, we're going to level up our flower points there, because that's what we need to do. So to get that treasure chest, you actually have to... Is it coming back here? Well, you know, there's no sense in uh, trying. Or there's no harm. <laughs> there's no sense. There's no harm in trying. I believe you have to come back here and bomb this wall. And I'm correct! Here's your star piece. Anyway, I'm uh, trying to avoid that dupli ghost. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't see us, which is really weird. Anyway, we get the triple dip badge. This is uh, much better than the double dip badge. It lets you use three items in one turn. Uh, s I don't think... Uh, I believe it... Uh, oops, what am I trying to say? I believe it takes five flower points to uh, use a triple dip, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be triple dipping today. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway... Moving on here. Um, okay, apparently I'm supposed to have Cooper out here. Um, that dude's gonna show us what we're supposed to do in this room. We're supposed to apparently use Cooper in that hole. As if we're, like, bowling or something. Might as well do that. And what happens? There's a shadow behind us, which is weird. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 Luigi, what? Colorado? Goompa? Mario, I'm the real Koopa, but of course you know that, don't you, old boy? Mario, look at me, I'm the real deal. Nobody lo else looks like Cooper. Oh, Mario, come on, I'm Cooper. I mean this, I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Cooper, sonny. You believe me, don't you? <clears throat> now, that is a character who's strangely floating in the air. Uh, his name is Coover. Uh, he's an old Koopa in Koopa Village, um, who does, who lets, or who, ah, I'm trying to, what am I trying to say? He is the dude who asks you to go on various side quests for him. And, uh, we'll probably do that eventually. I'm the real Cooper. Is, there isn't any doubt in your mind, is there, brother? Luigi, come on, are you serious? Okay, we'll be in your best smash those impostors one by one. That's a good idea. Brother, smash them all except me, okay? This is freaking the worst. Why is he floating? Oh my gosh, it doesn't matter. And, that is really weird. That's such a weird glitch. If you run around places... What? Whoa! I didn't even know that happened! That's so cool! But, um, you see that the shadow of our party member follows us, which is kind of crazy. But anyway, let's go ahead and smash our brother. Brother, I said I was a real Cooper so many times! So mean! Wah! Mamma mia! Get out of here, you idiot! Mario, well done. I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. Yeah, you're, you're, you may be a Koopa, but at least, I mean, uh, it doesn't make sense. Get you. Ouch, that hurts. Still a good job. You might have some incredible clean, keen eyes to spot me. 
You guys aren't even... Uh, you guys even look the same. Darn it. I feel bad for hitting an old man. Must have some sort of sixth sense, sonny. Get out of here. Gerd, remember me. I'll return. Yes, yes. Good call, Mario. I knew you'd get it right. Those are the worst disguises ever. <laughs> you and me both agree with that. And, um, I guess we're gonna go through this door here. I guess. Might as well. And we get a nice maple syrup, and there's a... Koopa, get off the freaking thing. A little star piece panel under here. And there's a giant thing right here. Um, these are really scary looking things. Um, those are known as albino dinos. We'll run into the actual creatures later on in the dungeon. Albino dinos used to be, uh... What's it called? Uh, enemies in the original... Uh, oh, frick, what am I trying to say? I can never get it right, what I'm trying to say. Albino Dinos used to be original enemies in uh, early development of this game, but unfortunately, they were scrapped and just became uh, dungeon puzzles, which is really weird. I'll show you later on, but that's what they did. I believe there's another star piece down here, and a hidden item, just like in the uh, other room, except the other one wasn't hidden. So we got another jam and jelly, so we got four jam and jellies, dude, that's crazy. Oh, three jam and jellies, but still, that's amazing. Um, that's really awesome. Alright, so what you're supposed to do is push this little guy, this a little tiny albino dino, fall down here, and I believe you get the P up D down badge over here. Don't attack me, dude! I don't want you to touch my body. I could be wrong here, though. What's up? Whoa, that... <laughs> what happened to Cooper there? Look at his eyes. It's all strange. Yeah, so this is the P up D down badge. So basically, your attack goes up and your defense goes down. I don't, I don't think we have any defense. I guess that's like, basically, um, the attack of an enemy that attacks you goes up. I guess that's what they mean by defense. I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter what I'm trying to say, because uh, this part has just been so confuzzling for me. Just like this entire dungeon has been so confuzzling. So as you see there, there uh, is a locked door. Two locked doors, but you only need one key, which is kind of weird. Basically what happens was you get the key and... Um, you get a palace key, and uh, it'll unlock both locks, I guess. I guess they're both for the same... Maybe they're from the same lock company or something? I don't know. They're from Dudley. Dudley Locks. Anyway, we got a duple ghost here instead of that stupid clubber. Don't touch me! Don't touch my body, please. And I believe this is where the palace key is. And that's so cool! Michael Jackson's moonwalk, eat your heart out. That's an air walk right there. That's better than uh, any any Jordans that you might have. So yes, we did get the palace key, and uh, Cooper did an airwalk, which is kind of cool. So we got a float. As I was saying, we got a floating Koopa, a little floating old man Koopa, and an airwalking blue Koopa, which is kind of interesting. Really cool. Anyway, glitches aside, now that we have the palace key, let's go ahead and pass this room for like the fourth time now. And open this door. As you'll see, the other lock will break as well, which is really weird. Alright, so these dudes are albino dinos. Unfortunately, they're not enemies in the game. They look really cool, though. Um, this puzzle is kind of interesting. You have to talk to them in a certain direction, which will move. Um, they're always saying the same thing. You can't go through here unless you solve the puzzle. Once you solve the puzzle, we'll let you through. And basically, whatever direction they are facing will be corresponding with these statues. And you can only push them in the direction they're facing, so that I can only push that one backwards and stuff. Then you talk to the uh, albino dino and face that way, so you can turn it, and so on. And you have to pick, make all the albino dinos uh, land on these panels on the floor here. At the end, um, I guess for a little aesthetic thing. I like to do that, just to make it look nice. But, um, yeah, anyway... So, I guess while I'm moving these albino dino statues over, I can talk about um, the end of the Let's Play. I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of sad that, it, that it's almost over. I, I mentioned this last part, but we're pretty much almost done with the LP here. Just a few more thi- Oh, Christ. Uh, I have to push that back first. And then... Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, then we got to push this one over here. So I'm going to do that. Push, 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 push. What was I going to say? The end of the LP. So, um, yeah. I'm still deciding on what I want to do next LP of, because I am planning another one. But, uh, there's a few... I have, I have a few requests from some of my friends who want me to do this. 
Um, I've had requests of the next Paper Mario, because they're like, Oh, wow, Paper Mario's cool, but I've never played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So that's an option, but I probably might not do that. I want to do the same type of LP twice. Um, another one is uh, Twilight Princess, but a lot of people have done it already. And the other one is Banjo-Kazooie, so I might do that one as well. I feel like uh, Twilight Princess is going to be a long one. But uh, I'm also planning on doing two LPs at once. So, um, let's see how that goes. And it looks like we've reached the end of the Crystal Palace. Who comes to my palace? Mario, you finally arrived. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the Star Spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First I shall defeat you, then I shall present Bowser with an iced Mario gift. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Crystal King. Uh, the Crystal King has 70 HP, so this guy is a quite the bugger. I believe he has uh, two defense here, I can double check. Yes, he's got two defense. Very, very high. Um, you might want, want, want to have Watt out here, or Sushi, um, because, um, or Paracarry. Paracarry is really good in this fight, too. Because he's got little ice bits, I believe they're called. Crystal bits. Um, which, uh, you know, they can uh, be uh, projectiles for the Crystal King. They can also heal the Crystal King like he's going to do. Oh, no. As you can see, he does four damage each. That's 12 damage total. So this guy is a crazy mofo. Um... I'll use the hammer on him because since the two defense, I'll, I'll basically do the same damage as a super hammer. And I'm not exactly best prepared for this fight because of uh, the fact that I have quite low HP and I don't have many very good healing items. I mean, I do have the Ultra Shroom, but I do want to save that, so um, that's something you got to make sure that you want to do. Um, let's see here. Yes. Another thing like people like to do here is uh, to open up with a chill out, which will lower uh, people's attacks, which is really nice. So I might as well do that. I don't normally do chill out, but you know, for the last battle, I might as well right here. So everyone's attack power went down by three. Very good ability to have. Hopefully he just restores. Nope. All right, there you go. Very nice. Okay. So let's see here. What do I want to do? This is going to be a little bit of a longer part because of all my strategic thinking, or lack thereof, uh, against the Crystal King. Um, but when he goes down to about 30 or so HP, he's going to heal himself. Um, he has the power to heal, I believe, 20 HP, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, so far he's only been respawning his uh, Crystal Bits. Normally he doesn't do that. Around this time he would use his Ice Beam attack. Yes, I know, he's like a Pokemon. So many references to that franchise. I'm sorry. And, oh, I didn't even realize that his, uh, thing went down. Just heal already. Oh, fine, whatever. Okay, so far this fight's going easier than planned because I was, ex I really was expecting him to use, uh, an ice beam attack. And <laughs> now that I said that, he's probably going to do it now. Oh, no, he, 20 HP, so... Did I say that earlier? I don't remember. But, uh, oh, well, there goes his, uh, thing. So, I'm just gonna put out another chill out here. Might as well. It's been very helpful. Since I do have 14 HP left, I don't want to use my, uh, super well, I can use my super trim, I guess. But it doesn't really matter. You know what? A really good thing to do as well. I don't know if it works on bosses, but you can also have the shrink stop bet. Oh, he froze me! Dang it. So that's an example of the uh, Ice Beam attack that I talked about. And, um... See, now that I didn't talk about Ice Beam, he used it. And now he's gonna float and summon two other clones of himself. Uh, a good move to use at this point would be something like Air Raid, or uh, a move that will attack all enemies at once. Um, so I guess I'm gonna use Air Raid here at this point. Just to be safe, you know, just so I don't have to attack the wrong dude. Because I always hate when I miss, and I was like, alright, there we go. And block that ice beam attack. Haha. -ha. 
Surprisingly, it doesn't... Oh, yeah, it does do a lot more, but that's only because I uh, lowered its attack. I almost forgot. And let's switch out to Watt again. Come on. I never really mentioned the music in this uh, in this fight either. Dang it! Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's attack it first, I guess. Uh, the music of uh, the Crystal King boss battle fight is really, really awesome, too. It's obviously um, a remix of the Crystal Palace theme, but still really, really good. I feel like it's it sounds like a Final Fantasy or like a, a Chrono Trigger type music. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably completely wrong because, you know, I don't play for Chrono Trigger very much. I do have it downloaded on Virtual Console, so maybe I might do an LP of that. That's also another option, but it would have to be a blind LP, so... Um, you know. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and risk a jump attack on one of these guys. So that's not the real dude. At least I know that. And let's go for the first dude, I guess. Come on. Yes! Thank you, Watt. I was a little bit <laughs> more excited than I was supposed to be. No, not Ice Beam! Haha! Alright, um... Let's see, what do I, do I want to use? Uh, can't, 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 can't. No, okay, fine. Let's keep going with this. Come on. I really hope he doesn't use his healing powers. See, Crystal King is so annoying because of the fact that he can heal himself. And do this. <laughs> oh, well. I think Crystal King is probably my favorite, um... You know what? Double dip. Crystal King's my favorite, like enemy concept because he's like all invisible and he just it's so cool I don't know why it's just like wow dude anyway uh, I'm using my double dip here so I can just uh, put up my super mushroom freeze up free up some space in my inventory at least I really hope he doesn't heal yes yes ice beam and blocked we got this oh yeah we got this in the bag Alright, 2 HP left, you can do this, don't mess this up, aw oh, yeah, so we just defeated the Crystal King, and we got 44 star points, very nice. Oh no, the last star spirit, King Bowser, forgive me. End of chapter! Mario has saved the last star spirit, Kalmar, from the Crystal Palace at the edge of the world. Now with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it is time for Mario's showdown with Evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod? Or will wishes forever go ungranted? Oh, Mario. I wonder what he's doing now. I wish I knew if he was helping him at all. Of course you are. Mario will be fine. You should be proud of your efforts. Mario knows all you've done. And don't you worry, Prince. You'll be able to talk to him in person before long. Tee I hope you like Twink. Thanks for cheering me up. Let's go back to the room, shall we? Oh, Princess Peach, your cuddly old Bowser is here. Can't we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let me see a smile. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a pill. Who says that? You're stuck with me for a long, long time, beautiful. You'd better get used to it. Mario's coming, Bowser, and you can't stop him. <laughs> oh, you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with a star rod, didn't you know? Mario's no match for me. 
He's history. Get over it. Your raunchiness. We have an emergency. Grr, it better be important. I'm right in the middle of a friendly chat with the princess. Uh, Mario has now saved all the star spirits. There is a chance he could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. What? Gah, Mario? Okay, listen, Kami Koopa. Send everyone to their posts. We'll ambush him in the second he enters my castle. Princess Peach, why don't you come with me to watch? You can have a front row seat to see Mario get crushed. You, yeah, you. Tie her up immediately. If she gets out this time, heads will roll. Whoa, this guy means serious business now. No, please! You big Koopa, show some respect to the princess. What is this whining little glittery thing, confetti? Gah, buzz off! No, Twink! Twink! Take the princess now! Let's move! Uh-oh. No! Oh, things are getting serious now. My name is Kalma, Mario. Well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully returned all of the star spirits. We are in your debt. Now all that is left is for you to challenge Bowser. My power should help you. To bring back Star Rod, to beat Bowser, to bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom, and to save Princess Peach. Alright, so Kalmar's ability is up, up, and away. Well, just one up for some some odd reason. Uh, so we have seven star energy now, up and away basically. The same as airlift for paracarry, but it does all enemies. It basically turns them into stars and lets them fly off out of the battlefield. From shooting Star Summit, we'll prepare to route the Star Haven. The name of this route is Star Way. Once you travel the Star Way, you'll finally reach Star Haven. My only wish is for you to save this precious world. You can do it, Mario. Goodbye for now. Alright, so, um, sorry for the super long part, guys, but the Crystal King battle, uh, was, uh, kind of hectic. But anyway, looks like we're gonna be going back to Star Road and Star Heaven. We're gonna meet up with the Seven Star Spirits and Shooting Star Summit. But before that, I think I'm going to go back to Toad Town and do a little bit of some bonus stuff. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One, signing off.